Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Kevin Williams Jr. And I'm First Lady Amara Farrell Williams. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, and we invite you to watch our sermons and Bible studies, that it may be uplifting to you. And please visit our website, gbwtalbn.org. And remember, we, we love, love you in Jesus', Jesus name. name.
So you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Baca, chapter number one. prosperity, uh, people uh, preach good messages, good film messages, but we need a real message on today because we're dealing with real problems, uh, we're living through a difficult time, the time frame that we're living in, us as adults, uh, we would never think that we will be going through something like this on today. Do I have a witness? Amen. And oftentimes I even think, God, why are we going through this? Why are we going through this pandemic? Why are all these false prophet, false teaching churches filled to capacity? But the churches that's preaching and teaching the truth is empty. God, why did you allow the fear of the media to determine the performance? 
performance of those living members in the body of Christ. I know it's going to get quiet and tied up in here, but this is past the wings. I take my calling serious, myself, my wife, even my daughter to a degree. We have sacrificed tremendously to be servants in the body of Christ. Amen. Now we serve here, four walls, preach, teach, sing, all that good stuff. Even sometimes we cook and serve food. But we also do it for the community. We handed out over 50 gift, uh, loving care packages, bags with food and toiletries and things of this sort to low house and income in the community. Um, we had several barbecues. Some is even be recorded by our media ministry, giving away uh, barbecue, even Minnesota Land gave away all the food for Pastor Williams. I couldn't even get a chicken bone. Church say amen. amen. So we're more than just in-house preachers or teachers. So a lot of times, a big prayer request that me and my wife have is we have been, ever since that we got married, we wanted to have a child. And we see sinners, those that's not married, in and out of our family, having children, or people having their second and third and fourth child. But we are yet to have a child together. So I asked God, I have a Habakkuk type of spirit. Are you listening to me, Jojo? Where I wrestle with some of the decisions that God is making. Come on, keep, keep it real with Pastor Williams. You see people around you that's fornicating, that's alcoholics, that's drug addicts, and how they get blessed. But we, tie paying members, Bible study attenders, when we have Sunday school, Sunday school, Christian education attenders, we serve in the church. We sing on the praise team, the choir. We play the musicians. Why are we going through this? What did we do to afford the pandemic where they're not really talking about the psychological effect on the children? Now, I'm not here to tell you, as a spiritual leader, whether to let your kids go to prime and homecoming. I'm not gonna, we're not going to talk about that. But the fact that a lot of these schools is not having prime, is not having homecoming, I can't imagine that. It's not able to play sports. I, I have a confession. I was not. The Valley Victorian, like Minister Gregory Crump Jr. My God. and his brother Gordon Crump. Guess why Pastor Williams went to school? High school and college. It's one reason. It started with an S. It is not spectacular. It's called sports. I could imagine not being able to play sports because of this pandemic. The suicide rate is up 30% on children in the United States between the ages of 12 and 17. Kids are killing themselves because this doesn't feel right. Why are we going through this? Sometimes I wrestle with God of why he allows <coughs> certain things to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. We've all saw children die unexpectedly, car accident, hit in a cross by of a shootout. Kids, babies, mothers die like what was the lady Brianna Taylor? Can you 
you imagine, I know Sister Renata, you work like a whole lot. Could you imagine working a 15-hour shift, laying in your bed, in your apartment, that you pay your rent, your electric, your gas, your water, and you just got off work, and the police come in and shoot you and kill you? Could you imagine that? Why are we going through this? It's a message that I have for everybody. I went in the living room on last night. God's been working a word. And these days, I, you know, you're supposed to encourage everybody. Encourage everybody. Uplift everybody. As the pastor first said, you're supposed to be happy go lucky. Smile on your face. Praise the Lord. How you doing? These <clears throat> two years have been some of the toughest times that I can remember where I have to encourage other people. Because who's encouraged Pastor Williams? Who's telling Pastor Williams, I know that you have a smaller congregation. I know that you lost about 70% of those attending. I know you spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in this ministry. And it does not look like it's returning. Does not seem like that your work is bearing forth good fruit. Who calls past the wings? Who takes past the wings? I'm in a city with a whole bunch of disgruntled people have no hope. Even before the pandemic, <laughs> the city of Albany was getting hit. We have to break the mentality that the devil has put into the people. We even got to go that much harder after this pandemic. Why are we going through this? And it hit me. Because my, my message never gave today of why a few hours I spent last night researching, dealing with Habakkuk, dealing with that time frame. I never got the why until I came to church today, a few hours early. The why is because God trusts you to go through this trial. God trusts you to go through this true tribulation that we're facing. Pastor Williams, how can you say that? Everybody that's watching virtually, everybody that's here, if God didn't trust you to go through this pandemic, you'll be in the grave somewhere. Amen. God trusts you. That's why we're going through this. Pastor Williams, are you able to still stand and go forth? In the midst of chaos, controversy, those that passed it before the pandemic had it easy. This is tough. Not only is I'm fighting against the media, I'm fighting against the government. I got to convince people that already before the pandemic, they don't want to go to church, to come to church in the pandemic, and you will be safe coming every single Sunday. But God trusted me enough with that task to do it. And I'm going to keep preaching and teaching the message. Yeah. When it don't break you, make you. We all did not wake up I think it was the day Kobe died in 2020, the first time they publicly released talking about this virus. We didn't know this was coming. If we did, some of us would have left. 
I'm going to the Bahamas. I'm out of here. But even in the midst of everything that happened, we stayed. Those that's faithful, come on back. Those members that was here. Talking to Minister Lamb, is some people that's missing that was very intimate or incremental to this ministry. And their life is not right. It's because they're in the wrong place. You cannot function in God's will being in the wrong place. For you to function correctly, you have to walk in God's will. I don't care if it's not 500, 700 seats here yet. If God said you need to be in Greater Bible Way Temple Mount, that's where you need to be. I don't care what they're doing down the street, up and down the highway. What did God tell you to do? That's why <coughs> you may be going through some trials and tribulations in your life because you're not walking according to his will. I believe I watch certain information, not the mainstream. I throw away all mainstream information. Because uh -huh. you can't even get the weather right. And even on the news, the commercials they run, alcohol, huh? they run an alcohol. How many of y'all know alcohol can hurt you? So why would I listen to what you got to say if this is who's funding the, the information that's coming to floor? We got the bank go back and forth. I'm focused on what does Jesus say? The Bible says don't forsake it, the assembly of God's people. It didn't say during the pandemic, if it's a pandemic, you don't think that some of these things have happened before? The apostles were killed for putting together churches. Killed. That spirit still lives on the land today. They don't want us to come together. They don't want God's will to be done. They don't want yokes to be broken. The devil's still the prince of his ear. He's still running rapid. And every time another church closes, it's another victory for him. We got to be willing to stand against the fiery wiles of the devil. We got to stand up. We all know members, former members. We need to be here. You want to make a change? Come make it. Put your hands to the plow. Stop making excuses. Yes. Me and my wife, we're here. We're here to stay. We've shown ourselves approved. We've been faithful. Rain, sleet, hell, and snow, we're here. Even if it's just us. Why are we going through this? God is waiting on us to change. God is waiting on us to conform to the word of God. Amen. God is waiting on us to look in the mirror. Stop looking at everybody else. God didn't call everybody else. God called you to be a child of his. We're not supposed to walk like sinners. We're not supposed to Talk like sinners. Why y'all so quiet? We supposed to represent the word of God. Yes. <clears throat> we supposed to be royal people. We supposed to be a chosen generation. Why didn't this pandemic happen in your mama or your grandmama generation? Because God chose this generation yes. to go through these tough times. God chose this generation to go 
through this pandemic. God chose you, whether you feel like it or not, to stand up when everybody else has threw in the time, has surrendered to the devil. God chose you to stand up. He raised you from the ashes. From when you didn't think that you had a way out. When we saw over 800 some thousand individuals have passed away to this coronavirus. God kept you and made sure that you were alive. People didn't wake up this morning. But when you woke up this morning, it was because of God. It wasn't because of your Android. It wasn't because of your Apple phone. It was because of the Holy Ghost. Come on, give God a hand for us. Why are we going through this? Because God has a plan. God wants you to be able to say, I know bodies is dropping. I know the Amari and B2K virus uh -huh. there is flooding it. flooded throughout the United States. But when we get over this, when you have enough guard to invite somebody out to church, when you have enough guard to say you need to be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, I feel like preaching. The Bible was the same way. The Bible says the burden which your back of the prophet did see. Many times I cried myself to sleep. Well, I want this church to be packed out. I want every seat in this church to be filled. I want this altar to be filled. I want this baptism pool to be filled. When people get baptized, I want people life to change. But it's not happening. Why is it not happening? We gotta go shake up the city, y'all. Wake up these dead bones. I believe Ezekiel said, it's like fire shut up in my bones. We gotta get to work. If it was too late, why are we going through this? God was trying to get your attention. Wake up, sister the doctor. Wake up, sister Keisha. Wake up, minister Mayor. We got work to do. Don't give up yet. We got that power to make a difference in that life. And we got power after the Holy Ghost.
sense to get to the church. Virtual church is okay for those that are sick, afflicted in body, or you're out of town and you want to stay in contact with the services of your, of your church you attend. But when virtual church takes the place of actual church. But that's a pandemic within itself. We have to break the complacency that the devil tries to ship out to all of us. Don't worry, don't pray. You pray yesterday. Don't read your Bible. You read your Bible last week. Don't go to church. The coronavirus is all out here. People is dying. This is the devil penetrates the minds of the saints. So what did God put in place or allow this pandemic to test the heart of the saints? To see where he really is. Most of us came to church before the pandemic, <coughs> most of us evangelized for the pandemic, but now we have changed. We're taking it for granted. Why are we going through this? Or why God is allowing us to go through this? Because He's looking for you. To change. Come on, put your hands together. 